If you have taken a Microsoft Active Directory class, you know very well what LDAP is, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. LDAP is the search and edit protocol for X500 style directory services. Uh, it is <laughs> way beyond the scope of this class to get into Active Directory or X500 directory services. If you're a little rusty on that, please look it up real quick. Uh, so just do a quick overview, don't do a deep reading. LDAP is the protocol we use to query those databases. So let's go take a look here. Um, LDAP enumeration. This lets us access distributed directory services. We query the database. Now directory services are organized hierarchically and logically in a logical structure. They follow something called the X500 or the X.500 naming convention. This is an, um, an ITU convention, I believe, yes, that uh, means that uh, you, everything in the whole world ultimately has a unique name. So I have the domain, child domains, organizational units, and then leaf objects like users and groups and computers. So um, like I said before, pretty much any Active Directory user has the right to query anything out of the Active Directory database, unless it's something restricted like a password hash or certain policies. But every user, group, computer name, regular policies, I can just dump them. Users have the right to query that, amazingly enough. And we can use LDAP. So Active Directory is but one tool or one service that uses it. And uh, Microsoft Exchange, which of course is Active Directory based, uses it also. Um, you probably have um, uh, other directory services. There is Novell. Um, you can have LDAP directory services also in uh, Linux. So the client will start an LDAP session and it connects to a directory system agent on TCP 389 and it just sends requests. So you too, as an attacker, can query LDAP to get well, pretty much anything. All you have to do is bribe Suzy Q with a chocolate bar or something or chat up Moo in the bar with buy him a drink and get the username or get their business card and just figure out from their email address what their name is. In Active Directory, chances are excellent that their email address is their login name. So then from there, we just have to figure out the password. Won't take too much. So the naming hierarchy for X500. Now, this is, like I said, not an Active Directory class, but there's a hierarchy here. So we've got something called a domain component, like org or com or net or mil or whatever. And then scrolling down underneath com, you have example or Microsoft or CompTIA or EC Council. Well, EC Council would fall under org. And then the organization, this is what we call the not the top level domain component, but the, dom the regular domain component. Uh, from there, we break out into organizational units. So maybe this company is broken out into people and servers. So organizational unit is the, it's the functional equivalent of a folder. And then underneath people, you have various user accounts. And underneath servers, you have various server accounts. And it just kind of goes like that. There are a number of LDAP tools. So there's Softera, and with a bunch of details that you don't need to memorize. Uh, there's Active Directory Users and Computers. There's LDP Exe. So like if we zoom in on Active Directory Users and Computers, this is the classic uh, look here. We've got the domain. And it, so here's the domain here. There are some containers, which are basically folders. They're just things to organize stuff inside the directory. And so we've got built-in, that's built-in accounts. We've got computers, we've got domain controllers. Foreign security principles are people from other domains who are trusted. Uh, we've got users. And so when we click users, you can see like a whole bunch of users and groups here. Classic Active Directory. So we can get huge amounts of information out of LDAP. And what's particularly important, try to find logins, try to find password policies like are there lockout policies in, in case we want to do a brute force against a service? Uh, try to find out computer names um, and try to find out uh, anything that will give us an entry into that target network. So LDAP, very, very useful.